you see what's happening? Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. A very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Progress is a double-edged sword. Now, follow me. You'll get it. The old saying, yeah, let me kick the tires, refers to when you were about to buy something. You know, you would go see it, feel it, touch it, understand what it looked like before you bought it. There was no online sales. So, so that's how you purchase everything and anything. Nobody actually kicks the tires when you buy a car. But you can't kick the tires if you don't see the merchandise. Like if you were buying a refrigerator, you want to open a door, see if it was solid or if it was a piece of furniture. You would open and close the drawers, you know, stuff like that. Nowadays, you can buy everything online. You want a car? Go to the car buying websites and have it delivered right to your door. You want furniture? Go online and look at more shit than you would ever see on a showroom floor and then have it delivered right to your home. But this is only turning this country into a place where human interaction takes place less and less. We're all retreating into our homes and communicating by cell phones and iPads and computers. I'm not going to be chicken little here, but, but we're moving closer to big brother shit than away from it. Do you know what I mean? Look, I get that shopping online is faster and easier technically. As an example, I went to a big box store this weekend to get specific filters for my air conditioning unit. You know, you, you have to change the filters every couple of months because they get dirty from filtering the air. So I get to the section where all the filters are, shelf after shelf, and it goes on and on and on forever. I needed 10 inch by 20 inch filters and 20 inch by 30 inch filters. So what happens? Those are the sizes they didn't have in, in the store. In a store where you go to buy filters, they don't have my filters. Like I was buying air filters from, from the fucking planet Venus. So what do I do? I said, fuck it. I went home, got on Amazon Prime, found the filters I needed. I ordered them and they arrived the next day and the shipping was free. Oh, and guess what? They were less expensive online than at the store. So I wasted time and gas to go to a store when I could have stayed home and just ordered them online in the first place. And honestly, this happens a lot. So how do the retail stores expect to stay in business if this is the trend? If you can buy everything cheaper and faster without no shipping cost at home, why would anyone go to a store? I know people who order their groceries from Walmart or other supermarkets online and they're delivered right to the house. How is this gonna be good for retail stores and all the workers who have jobs there? We all know that the online profits are way higher than brick and mortar stores, but, but, but hey, that, that's capitalism at work. It's, it, it's about the bottom line. The company will make more money doing it a different way and the worker will have to figure out where to get their next job from. You, you, do you see what's happening? Make money for the stockholders. Fuck the workers in the neck, whatever. And what exactly is gonna happen to human beings? You can work from home now. You can see your doctor in a virtual visit now. You can order everything you need online now. We're gonna evolve into Jabba the fucking huts. If we don't have to move, we're gonna become legless jelly creatures with a big head and long fingers for using the Google machine. But we won't need legs, so generations of people in the future will have polywog bottoms. If we don't have to move, we're gonna turn into slugs over time. I mean, I see a lot of unattractive people, but this will take it to another dimension. Look, I get it. You can't stop progress. That's, that's another old saying, but when do we all step back and realize that sometimes change really needs to be figured out before it happens? Doing something one way and then changing to a new way is great in theory, but maybe it's not the best way to do things for the good of society? I don't know. 
This is a dicey subject, but I just don't know where all the retail jobs will go if all the retail jobs were gone. As an example, it's like the, the fax machine. It was a great invention. Remember the fax machine? But didn't anyone realize that it would directly affect the profitability of, of the post office, which employs a shitload of workers? Or that other technological advancements would, would put certain industries into the garbage heap like typewriter manufacturers or a lot of camera manufacturers because most cell phones are high quality cameras now. As an example, I don't know. Sometimes I'm glad I was born when I was born. I'm, I'm not sure I really want to stick around and watch what happens in the not so distant future. Personally, I, I think we're kind of fucking it up here and a, and a lot of people are so stupid they, they can't see the handwriting on the wall. Yeah, it is what it is. Progress is a double-edged sword. That's what ticks me off.